Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. Guys, today I'm here with my amazing wife, Jacqueline Elliott. You guys know her, my my running mate. She's my uh, battle mate. Um, and I'm here with Patrick Bet David, which you guys know. We talk about him all the time. Um, one of the greatest influencers ever made. Um, he's a badass leader. He's a badass uh, businessman, family man, team leader, just all around. You're just a savage. And you're getting smarter every day. And it seems like you've studied everything and you figure out how to do it better. And anything that you, like, you don't take bets, you can't win. It seems like if you say you're going to do something, you win it. And so. Yes. Bet David. Right? <laughs> yeah. Bet David, yeah. It's in the name, huh? Yeah. yeah. And he's here with his awesome kids. He's got his two sons over here. They're awesome. He flew down here. We're in Scottsdale. And, man, I just asked him truly, like, to just share, you know, 15 minutes of wisdom, right? My shirt says, come back, kid. To be honest with you, like, when I started watching your stuff, um, you said, like, future truth. And that right there, like I told myself a lie that I was somebody and that was the best lie that I've ever told out of all the lies that I've told. And that one was one that came true. I was like, I'm going to be this guy. We created a vision board. Um, you were like, what kind of person are you? And I was a person that ran from a state of madness. I saw you do it and I'm like, well, if you can do it, then I can do it. And then I'm just like the comeback kid. And I've just shown everybody what a transformation looks like, but you're the guy that we've studied that has guided our family. So thank um, you for being that example to us. Yeah, I appreciate it. For real. I appreciate it. No, I mean, listen, it, it, if you were to see the room today, it was bonkers, right? Mm -hmm. It reminded me like back in the days living in Tehran, Iran, it was so hot, right? The place was <laughs> 150 degrees. Yeah. It was great. No, but you know, it's interesting. You're saying this on the way here. Mario says, did you see the video Mickey found yesterday? I said, what video? I said, did you see the video? You got to watch his videos. And uh, what video, Mario? He says, this video. I said, let me watch it. He, you know, you know, airdrops it on the phone. I'm sitting there watching this. This is a video of me and Jen in 2009, August. This is pre us starting our own insurance company. It, it, we had just gotten married two months prior to this, okay? So it's a brand spanking new season of my life. This is me right there wearing a sombrero with mm -hmm. my wife to me, that. and I'm giving the message about where we are, what we're going to be doing, what, you know, what the next future is mm -hmm. going to look like. And I'm going through the room, Andy, and I'm looking at everybody. And I'm like, man, I remember that guy. That guy used to be with us. He used to do all the blood work, phlebotomist, mm -hmm. guy named Paul. Man, I remember her. She was a person that used to go to, you know, the store and they would prospect people there in front of the store, fries, electronics, and they would sit there and she got prospected right there. Man, I remember him, I remember her. She gave me a book one time when we got married uh, two months prior to that. And the book was advice by people who've been married for 50 plus years, mm -hmm. okay? That's counsel being given to you. The opening advice by husband and wives that have been married for 50 plus years. First quote, marriage is the greatest mistake you'll ever make, okay? <laughs> so this, I'm, I'm looking at everybody and there's a story with everybody, mm -hmm. right, that I'm thinking about. But then I listen to the message and the message is, this is 09, think about what 09 is. 08 happened, market tanks 38%, right? Rates... AIG is about to go out of business. Every day, AIG is the most hated company in the world. You know, they've dropped, you know, the Lehman's Brothers, you know, Merrill Lynch is bought by B of A countrywide out of business. Oh my God, refi, mortgage, all these guys are going on, new century. Mm -hmm. Everybody is like panicking. Friends of mine that were making 2.3 million a year, they're at $70,000 going and getting a job. Started. You know, Brie Poen, foreclosures were on fire. The movie Big Short is made about the season. Mm -hmm. This was probably... The scariest season in the financial industry the last 40, 50 years. I remember mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And I'm up there, I'm giving this message, and I'm looking at everybody. These are people I've run appointments with. These are people I've driven hundreds of miles with to go to Long Beach to run three appointments or go to Palm Springs or go to Palmdale or Fresno or Bakersfield. So we have all these moments. When you're going on appointments and you're running three, four, five uh, insurance appointments per night, you're driving 400 miles. Right. So we're going to boom, and then we're going to go here, and then we're going to go here, and we're going to go here. So there's conversations. You don't just sit there and mute and not do anything. You're driving. Mm -hmm. You're talking. And I said, man, that guy didn't believe me. Mm. When I sold the vision about what's going to happen, this guy didn't believe it. That guy didn't believe it. That guy was so scared. So we made a list on the flight here, and I said, there's five different types of people on your team. Mm -hmm. When you're up there casting a vision, the first type is a type that listens to you, and they say, you're full of shit. I don't believe you're real. And this isn't for me. That's 50% wow. that doesn't believe you. The second type is the one that listens to you and says, man, this message feels good. Yeah. But I don't know if it's for me, mm -hmm. right? 
but it feels good and they believe you. Mm -hmm. The third one is the person that says, I believe what he has to say, but I don't believe I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. So they don't believe in themselves. Yeah. The fourth type is, I think you're full of shit. I'm gonna work with or without you. That's the fourth type. But the fifth type is the one that says, I believe you mm -hmm. and I'm all in, let's go. Yep. And, and those people, that group of people, they're so hard to find. You can't blame them for not believing. You're selling the vision from the top. Meanwhile, every single news station you're watching, Fox News, CNN, mm -hmm. MSNBC, every finance show is telling you, and the, the world market crash, you know, it's going to happen. You're going to go back to this. The Great Depression is around the corner. And what about this? And what about, oh, my God, let me play safe. This is so scary and fear. So I'm saying, well, what am I going to do with that? So then bring it to today, right? Bring it to today. And COVID happens. The market tanks to nearly 16,000, 17,000 Dow Jones. I'm at Goldman Sachs Wednesday. My guy John says when COVID happened and Dow dropped to 17,000, 18,000, that was a 50% drop in a span of a week. He says we had multiple clients that their accounts went from a couple hundred million mm. to 100 million overnight. And they were so scared that's gonna go from 100 million to 50 million that right. guess what they did at 100 million? Yeah. Took 100% yeah. of the money out. You know what happened exactly 30 days later? Yeah, that 100 million went back to 200 million. Mm -hmm. And could have gone to 250, 300, 400, mm. but what happened to them? They got scared in those moments. Mm -hmm. Well, those are the moments that were tested. Dana White said something when he was flying back from Italy when he's on the vacation with his uh, wife and kids and he rented out this yacht. He says, Pat, every year, summer, he's telling me this, you gotta rent a big yacht for a million dollars for four weeks and take your kids out and be on that yacht in Monaco for four weeks, he's telling me this. He says, you know when you find out that, that someone's a badass? When you almost had a shot of somebody assassinating you and then you're putting your shoes on, you say, let me put my shoes on and put your hands up. He says, what would the rest of us do? He's saying this, right? Mm. The only time we're tested to find out what we're really all about is in scary times. Let's talk about today. Mm, true. So today, when is the last time a assassination attempt was on a president? I think it was March 31st of 82 or 83 or 81, mm -hmm. and that's who, Reagan, right? Yep. Prior to that was who? And that was a failed assassination attempt. Mm -hmm. The one prior to that was November 22nd of 64, 63, and that's who? John F. Kennedy. Okay. That was successful. He's out, right? Mm -hmm. So you have the assassination attempt. A week later, president steps down. After he steps down, he endorses the existing VP to run. She mm -hmm. gets endorsed. Then you're now seeing the market, what it's doing, the mm -hmm. speed of AI. So many people are afraid of what's going to happen with yeah. their jobs, with the way AI is growing. AI is, oh, my God, I'm going to lose my job, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. And Elon Musk is giving a speech in front of his investors and saying, hey, we believe the robot business is going to be XYZ and we're going to be 10% of the robot business. We think Tesla is going to build 10 to 20% of all the robots worldwide. And we think the price point for it's going to be around twenty dollars to $30,000. And we believe most of you are going to own a robot. And that's going to add another trillion dollars of top line revenue to our company. What's he doing? So you can listen to him and say, Elon, come on, man. What a freaking sale. Get out of here. I'm not going to have a robot in my house. I'm sorry. You already do. You don't know it. But this is a legitimate robot. Do you think I'm going to own a robot? Yes. What do you call that? He's either delusional, he's either on LSD, he's either a visionary living in a future truth, and you and I get to listen to him and say, I don't believe him, and be one of those five camps, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So in business world today, one of the most valuable currencies in business is fear, and that is very high today. Fear sharp is listening. Fear causes people to want to sit down with you. Fear causes people to make that one hour that they typically wouldn't do for you when the economic expansion was at 128 months because they're making a lot of money. Today, people are afraid. If you have a good presentation, good product, you actually have a good reputation, you're providing results for people, this may be the best time to be in business in the exactly. last 40, 50 years. Easy. And the way things are moving, some of the folks, the way they apply some of these technologies, and somebody may be watching and saying, well, Pat, I ain't got a lot of money in the bank. Man, I only got $20,000 in the bank, $50,000 in the bank, $10,000 in the bank. I can't go out there and do something like this. Make one of two choices. Either be the number one person mm -hmm. that takes the pressure, like the two of you guys, go be the founder, mm -hmm. or two, find somebody that's willing to take the pressure, come and bring support, come and bring value, be a leader for them, help them get to the next level, and you'll be somebody. But the one thing you can't do nowadays is sit on the sidelines. A lot of opportunities will be missed for people. That's so true, man. That's crazy. Yeah. So, uh, your your wife you and her were selling insurance together right yes and to today right like obviously you've 
killed it the last like 15 years, right? Really success is like the last 15 years. Is that right? Yes. 09, we started it September 23rd of 09. And when you started your insurance company, you know, 15 years ago, right? Um, you told everybody you were going to go build this. Oh, so I had a meeting. You can actually Google this if you well, want. I watched it. And yeah. I, I watched the meeting. Did you? Yeah. And, and I love that meeting. Yeah. And that's, that's where we, we watched that meeting when we started ours. And I was like, I watched the meeting that we had that was similar to in your meeting when I told our guys that we're taking over the fucking world. Like, that we're going to do it. Well, I remember you guys at the vault. Yeah. You said 2021, right? This is during COVID. Mm -hmm. And I see it, it's the end of the vault, and I'm asking everybody, declare your intentions. 99% right. of people are afraid to no. do it yeah. because that's pressure, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to build the next AI this. We're going to build the next software this. We're going to build the next... What's your name? Andy, what are you guys going to do? We're going to be the top sales trainers in the world. What's your last name, Andy? Elliot. Great. What, and then I skipped, and I would just went to, and I watched this video, I'm like, these guys said this They're three years ago. Yeah. Mm. And it was a, a part of it you didn't, you didn't hear because you asked him twice. And he stood up and he said, I'm going to be the biggest automotive. automotive sales trainer in the world. And I went, <clears throat> and I like pushed him. Yeah. And I was like, no, 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 no. You're going to be the largest sales training Period. company in general period and then he corrected himself and then that's why he said everybody meet andy elliott and it was like it was pretty awesome so yeah so sales changed our life yeah. i mean i never had more than five dollars in my hand until i was 18 yeah. and then at 18 i made 125 selling cars 225 at 19 and then 500 at 20 and i was like this is my way out right like i'm gonna sales and leadership until i die yeah. and then at 39 i'd never gotten on the internet ever in my whole life um except to sell or to do an internet lead right like to sell a lead on the internet but i didn't watch people and then yeah. jackie one day um she told me she's like i learned to live without you basically what that means is i go i'm gone at seven in the morning i get home at midnight and she's like even when you're here you're not here like you're never present he was chasing money he was yeah, chasing I, was, money I just thought success was money. she's fulfilled. like you're one dimensional andy she's like you can be a badass businessman and i want to be proud of you you think i want you to be a loser when you come home i want you to come to the door and i want to look at you as a winner and be like oh my husband's a winner but then i want you to spend some time with me and the kids i want you to be present and you're not present that's a problem plus she goes you're not in very good shape and when we got together you were in shape and when you're in shape all the things in your life, the standards. Well, I knew are how important five it was. Years ago. This is this is yes, five this years, is ago. Five years yeah. ago. Yeah, and I was thirty nine, and honestly, dude, like, she, and she even grabbed my love handle. Well, I wives were dude, good at taking said, our husbands off because we know, like, there's another level. Like, it wasn't that him. he needed to have a six pack. It wasn't that, you know, I, I didn't love him because he had it. I just knew that I needed to trigger him to yeah, a certain point where he <laughs> needed to be dude, I a better my business. Head. He, yeah, he. Yeah, I had your birthday. What month's your birthday? November. November six. And when are you? October. October 20th. Okay, so we're, we're two really days close. apart. I'm yeah. 18th. Oh, okay. yeah. It's really awesome. Close. Very dude, cool. Dude, Patrick, I'm telling you, I went in the garage, I shaved my freaking head, worked out for four hours like that was going to change my life. I was making two and a half million as a GM. I quit my fucking job immediately. Mm -hmm. um, I got on the internet. The first thing I found was a Tony Robbins training, and then I found value tainment. Wow. But I think I, the cool but thing But I started, I watched every one of your sales videos, and I was like, and I, but I, it was like, I'm going to make videos like that. Don't look, my specialized skill wasn't auto. It was sales. Like I was good at sales, but I was in the automotive industry. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, I need, I've done that. So like I would have a little bit of credibility to making, you know, a million dollars in automotive. So I'm like, I'll teach that. And I started watching your stuff and you would teach me how to teach. But we, we resonate with you. And teaching are two different things. I think because I, I watch the way he gravitates toward things, you know, because I know him more than anybody else. And what really helped him so much is the way you explained of what motivation really is. Because you think about successful people, what motivates them? And when you broke it down in that that motivation out of madness is exactly what he, that drew him, mm -hmm. and that's what, what makes him grow. We are yeah. motivated different ways, but the way, I think you're very similar in that way, right? Mm -hmm. You get motivated mm -hmm. by madness, so he gravitated yeah, toward yeah, like you. Yeah, like, bet against me. Yeah. Like, he wants to prove you wrong. Like, that's you know? me. And Jackie's even your book, like, right, Choose Your Enemies Wisely. I mean, you talk about what, you talk about when they. No, no question, absolutely. Dude, I love enemies. Jackie's like, I don't need an enemy. I'm uh, gonna go hard, and I'm like, I don't Well, I create enemy. my own em enemies, I think. Yeah. I just don't give them as much importance as you guys do. That's yeah. different. But, but that's how I operate, <laughs> though. And so, like, when I start watching your stuff, I really resonate, I'm like, okay, that human being, I feel like that's how I am. Okay, I'm gonna study this guy, I'm gonna learn everything. So I studied every video. I mean, there's some videos of yours. And by the way, like, 
people tell me this all the time. Like, dude, I watched this one video 900 times. So I'm going to tell you, I've watched some of your videos like a thousand times. It's because every time it puts me back in that state. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's it. That's, that's that place. And then, so anyways, um, human beings are resilient. We're cool. The comeback deal means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. Uh, everybody counted me out. I made a lot of mistakes. We live a, in a very special time right now where everybody who wants to be a killer can literally be a killer. And then you can be a good person. You can impact other people and change their lives. And so I got serious and she supported me and she's like, dude, let's go to war. And we just, we built this crazy thing just by um, really us chasing salespeople down and trying to get them to just be great at sales because sales and leadership will really make you a lot of money in, you know, in this world. And so like that's everybody's way out. If you're broke, you can go make 50,000 a month right now selling. You can be broke. You have zero dollars in your pocket. Just learn the skill of sales and leadership. And then um, the recreation part, like being a good person, like my intentions changed when I started studying you because you're mature. Mm -hmm. So like if you study like Wolf on Wall Street style training, it's like, you know, it's like I love and I'm addicted to that energy, but also I needed to mature. Yeah. I needed to mature. I need to do become you, a real businessman. Do you feel so like me. most successful people, you know, have to come from a state of like being hurt in order to appreciate and grow and, you know, to their max potential? Because that's that's what we feel. We went through a state of pain. We went for working through, for the wrong people, you know, like having bad jobs, betrayed, all these different things. You were driven, and obviously, you know, you have your families from Iran, and then you came, you know, to the United States, and you, you did different. I mean, you see things differently, and I see it the same way. My family's from Mexico. You know, we have mm -hmm. we had to prove different mm -hmm. ways, so in, we're immigrants. And um, I look at the United States, and I love the United States and the opportunity what do you think that is a common trait that most people that are successful have you know can you relate that to pain no question about it so last year at the vault conference with tom brady if you remember when i'm talking to tom i said tom you know when i think about guys that compete not in the top one percent these are guys that go top one percent of one percent right like for example you start a youtube channel or a podcast and they'll say never read the comments uh I'll have my guys, and I'll say, this podcast, I want you to read every comment mm -hmm. because the comments are giving you very good feedback. You were off today, and you were disrespectful. Listen to it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Got it. This podcast, I don't care what the comments are. Don't worry about it. But sometimes we need to be given that feedback, right? Mm -hmm. When we're talking to Brady, I said, my experience is people that make it to the top 1% top, top of 1% mm -hmm. have three things. One, they experience unconditional love from one person in their lives. Mm -hmm. Typically, as a kid, it's your mom. Mm -hmm. Later on, when you get married, it could be your wife, right. husband, somebody like that, right? But one person you need. You don't need a thousand. You just need one to know mm -hmm. that this exists. Mm -hmm. Number two is you need unconditional pain from one person in your life that no matter what you do, you will never get approval from that person. Mm -hmm. It's pure pain. Mm -hmm. like, no matter how much money you make, no matter how many championships you win, no matter whatever you do, it's nothing. It's never enough right. with this one. But you're never going to win this person over. Yeah. And then the last one is choosing your enemies wisely. When, when you hear people that we read about or, you know, we see in movies or they run elections and they win or they become billionaires. Or if you go read Elon Musk's book, you will see the unconditional love, his mom. You will see the unconditional pain, his father. And you will see the enemies of people that said, who do you think you are? You think you're gonna go to space? You think you're gonna do this? All the people that were his heroes were the 60 minutes interview, he breaks down, he starts crying. I mean, you got the formula right there in front mm -hmm. of you with Elon, right? So mm. for, for some of us, as we, get, as we choose to do bigger things, um, you're gonna have people that are gonna come from your past yeah. who you messed up with, mm -hmm. not even the other way around. Sometimes you screwed up, right? And they wanna come out and they wanna tell everybody that you messed up. You're mm -hmm. gonna have that, you have to be okay with that. Yeah, That's part of the you know, territory. Yeah. You know, like right now, you know what Elon's experiencing right now? His son, have you seen what his son is saying on Twitter? Mm -hmm. Trans son, that he says the, they killed my kid because he's woke now and all this other stuff. His son is now retweeting at Elon and trolling Kim. Think about how humiliating mm -hmm. that is for your trans kid to humiliate you on Twitter. What else is more painful? You think a fr previous coworker is gonna be that painful? No. You think a previous partner no. or your child that has your blood. your blood that is publicly saying these types of things about you, that's painful mm -hmm. that you're going through. Right. So we have to be ready for that because with the limelight, with the success, with the money, with the accolades, with the attention, with the fame, whatever it may be, 
you're going to get all of that stuff. And then that's the next level of graduation in life. How do you handle that? And then most people don't know how to handle that. That's why they go and then they disappear. Mm -hmm. And then a few people, they go, they can handle this level. They can handle that level. They can even handle this level, but they can't handle this level. Boom, mm -hmm. they're gone. Yep. Capitulation and irrelevance like we talked about earlier. That's the part where you have to emotionally, social intelligence, try to kind of tell yourself where the whole meditations concept with Marcus Aurelius where I had a slave sitting behind him saying, hey, Marcus, mm. you're not as important as you think you are. Mm. You're not as important as you think you are. I love that. I yeah. love that, right? I have Frost my guy, uh, Ashan, my uh, video guy. What do you tell me before every video we make? I want everyone to live the life that you live. No, no, no. Right. That's when we make content. Yeah. I tell him all the time before I shoot a video, hey, Andy, I saw this other guy that's competing with you, and he made a better video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tell him. I said, dude, I want to know. Because when I start this shit, I don't want to think that I made it. I want to think that I'm trying my hardest to build something. I want to. I need to stay grounded that someone can take it all. Zach from me. Johnson won the Masters once, and they said, "So Zach, how does it feel being a Masters champion, golf? You have reached a pinnacle. What does it feel like?" He says, "I'm going to feel good for a few minutes, but when I get back home, trust me, my family's going to remind me how much of a regular person I am. <laughs> so that's the benefit sometimes, that's right? Of being around, you're like, hey, relax, bro. Can you get me some popcorn?" I'm a master chef. Give me some popcorn, Zach. That's life. That's Jackie. Yeah, right. To me. Yes, yeah. I chop she, his she, legs off like, all the time when he feels I'm like, so babe, cool. We just did this, and she's like, "Okay, cool." She's like, "Remember, we're in this to help people. That wasn't. That's not about you." Yep. Okay. Now let's yep. get back to it. Yeah. And I'm like, "Oh, well, that's ending." All right, let's go back. <laughs> um, but most importantly, look, um, guys, we're in Scottsdale. We just did a big event. Uh, this guy is my mentor. I mean, I know you guys know who Patrick Bet David is. If you don't, you can go follow him on YouTube on Valuetainment. You can go look up Patrick Bet david um on you know instagram really everywhere you just search it and he's everywhere i mean you're the the builder of all the greatest entrepreneurs on planet earth and you're young i mean you're 45 i mean you're going to go down in history right as like a guy that played out a big part of a lot like you should be really happy and i just want you to stay psycho because all of us psycho people that you know are chasing your your mind right your heart, you know, the, the, the standards that you run on, um, you're a real dude and that's just awesome, man. And, uh, anyway, so I just want to say like, uh, love you, man. And then we're grateful. My wife, um, it's a pleasure to have you down Likewise, here. Appreciate you. You know, Mario asked me the other day, he's like, well, he's like, what can I do? I'm like, Hey, we want PBD every year. Like that's what we want, yeah. you know? So what does that mean? That means this, this is our home. We need a bigger us. room. Well, it's exciting that yeah. you guys are building. Yeah, Bradley's yes. always like, hey, you want, me chick you want me chip in on the AC? <laughs> I don't know what happened. Like human <laughs> heaters, <laughs> man. It was, like, it was an <laughs> ice. We, we, we put 600 people that in a small could have room. Been a they sucked the life out of it. I don't know. Yeah, but um, I just want to say I'm grateful for you. Um, our whole company's shutting down to go to your event at the vault. Um, you know, every year, guys, he does a badass event at the vault. It'll change your life. He literally gives out millions of dollars of value. I think the minimum ticket is like, 900 bucks and then you can go like uh ceo big dog tickets for like 15 grand it's you can wipe your ass with that kind of money especially in a world that f prints free money you go learn this you get back out there and you kill it and so the value you provide and the structure of that book that you give is just dude, we still incredible. chew it up and every yes. year it's a little bit revised but when we look at the last year it's we like, compare them. we're different. No, 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 but we're different now, so it means something different yeah. now. No question. Yeah, yeah yes. it's, it's like, like reading the Bible. Like, it means like, something different yes. every time. Yeah, like what did it mean, you know, in 2023, and what does it mean in 2024? Because we're totally different human beings now. So we like to hear you re-explain it each year, and you add just a couple little pieces as time changes. Mm -hmm. So, But anyways, but thank you, man. I want to respect your time. So Anytime. we love you. We appreciate it. And uh, you're saying like pbd.com, right? Uh, Down there, you're saying where people want to reach out to you? Uh, is that Manect? Manect, M I N N E C T dot com. You can download the app. You can. That's the only place I respond to messages. Yeah, so only somebody there. wants to reach out to Patrick, you can Ask go to Manect, download the Manect, app, download and literally. App, yep. Yeah, one of our guys, um, I think he paid. Joshua or something like John, that. Jonathan. Uh, jo uh, jo Jonathan. He's like, you like ICT? I said, Arnold Palmer. He's yeah. like, I got Yeah, you. but he was like, dude, he's like, Patrick responded. I was like, dude, that's so cool. Um, I was telling Jackie, I was like, man, we need to get on there. That's crazy. Yeah, that's oh, you awesome. guys will blow up. Is, is that yours? Yeah. Is yeah. that your? Yeah. Yeah, I need to get on yeah. that. That's awesome. Okay, but hey, I'm grateful for you. Love you, buddy. Guys, have a blessed day. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications 
and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.